As a manager or a business owner, staff can be one of the most valuable, if not the most valuable asset to your business. Therefore, it's in your best interest to develop your staff. Growing people and developing leaders. If you're a manager, you might be insecure that by developing staff, they might become a threat to you and to take over your position. But in reality, as the saying goes, a rising tide lifts all boats. And by making everyone around you better, you in turn offer more value yourself. Although staff development can seem like an investment of both time and money, staff development has many benefits, not just better trained staff, but when staff see you are willing to invest in them, you are also showing belief in them. You are also showing you want to help them to grow and showing a commitment to them and their growth as an individual and a member of the team. As staff grow with you, they will also be more loyal based on the investment and care you have shown for. There's also a sense of pride, shared appreciation, and shared purpose when you see people grow. The feeling of knowing have helped someone become a better person is truly rewarding. Further challenging someone to be better and seeing them reach their potential is a great feeling. Although many of your staff might have had some form of formal training at a university, college, or similar type of institution, Universities and colleges and other similar courses teach essential skills for different job types. There are many different skills and a variety of knowledge that might be specific to your organisation, the specific roles you require or how you operate. There are many benefits to growing your people. Organisations who nurture their staff have a much higher probability of retaining their staff Increase their skill levels and improve morale, ultimately benefiting not only the employee, but the company as a whole. Further, when staff see they have a future to grow into, or at least a vision of where they can grow to, not only do they remain more engaged because they can challenge themselves, they avoid a situation where work becomes monotonous and stale or boring. So they will be less inclined to go seek out a new career. Human nature is to want to challenge ourselves rather than to be bored. So if we start to get bored, then we are going to want to do something else. In our ever-changing world, how we operate and the standards in many sectors update frequently. Some industries even require you to keep up to date with new training every year. As technology advances, new and different shortcuts to how we can do things become available. New thoughts on better ways to operate become tried and tested and new ways of thinking become more known too. So if your people aren't growing, you will start to fall behind. Economies are built on GDP, growth and inflation, where if you're staying the same, you are actually falling behind. For an organization to thrive, you need to be open to learning new ways of thinking and improving. A key to developing staff is identifying staff who can grow, but the hiring process is a whole different topic we will cover in a different video. In order to grow your organization, set expectations and goals from the start. Share your short-term and long-term goals with your people and involve them in these goals. Set rewards if the company or your team hits the targets so everyone is engaged to reach the targets. Empower your team by asking them what can be done to achieve the targets. How can we improve? Challenge them to contribute solutions and then they will be more engaged to see those solutions implemented because they were the ones who came up with it. Unfortunately, difficult people are everywhere and come in every variety and no workplace is without them internally or externally. They affect how other people work and distract people. They ultimately affect morale, performance and productivity. Disruptive actions happen every day and it can be critical 
to the rest of the organization if not dealt with appropriately. However, this is also another entire subject on its own, which we will cover in another video. So make sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss out. There's a distinct difference between someone being disruptive or negative as opposed to someone who legitimately tries but unfortunately fails. Mistakes are inevitable and even the best people make them. If a mistake is made, identify the problem and acknowledge it. You can't learn from mistakes if you don't accept a mistake has been made. Mistakes are an opportunity to grow. Take personal responsibility yourself as well. For example, if you ask a staff member to do something and they didn't do it properly, perhaps your instructions weren't clear or you asked someone to do something they didn't know how, or perhaps they didn't feel comfortable coming to you to ask for help. Regardless of the reasoning, rather than placing blame, look for why the mistakes happened and grow with it. Sometimes, in order to learn, we need to make mistakes to reaffirm why the wrong way is in fact the wrong way. Create an environment where people feel comfortable identifying a mistake as soon as it's made, rather than a culture of fear where they are too afraid to say and instead hope it fixes itself, goes unnoticed or try to cover it up. These actions can make small issues much bigger. So anything you can do to avoid them is important. When mistakes are made, where possible, try and put safeguards in place to prevent them in the future. Perhaps this person will move into a new role and their replacement is likely to make the same mistakes. You can learn yourself from your staff's mistakes. So treat everything as a learning opportunity, both for them and yourself. As with many of the topics we cover, Developing staff is a complex and deep topic. Our next video on empowering staff will delve further into this topic. So if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and comment below on how you've been able to help grow and develop your staff.